Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Josh Petit of West Hartford. Welcome back. We've been talking about what it looks like not just to be a disciple, but also to be a disciple maker. Uh, And we've been operating under this definition from Matthew 419, where a disciple is someone who is following Jesus, changed by Jesus, and committed to the mission of Jesus. But here's the trouble. If I'm following Jesus, it means I'm not in charge anymore. Like following Jesus means leaving behind your old ways. It's not, hold on, Lord, let me keep doing this thing. He says, no, like I want all of you. I want relational intimacy with you. John 15, 4, Jesus says it this way, remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. And that concept it really kind of points to following, leading into intimacy, relational int- intimacy that we can easily miss. Too often, we have become a people who know about Jesus, but we don't actually know Jesus. Do you see the difference? I, I know about Arnold Schwarzenegger. I can tell you about his time when he lifted some weight. I can quote some of his movies. I know a little bit about his time as the governor. I can even make the sound. Like I, I can do that, but I don't know him. There is a relational intimacy that we are invited into in our following Jesus, where we don't just follow from a distance. This is a walking side by side through the garden in the cool of the day type of intimacy where we know him and he knows us. But too often we we build these barriers to our knowing Jesus and in turn our ability to follow Jesus. When Moses spoke directly to God, Israel begged Moses to be the middleman. They didn't want to go to God themselves. They were afraid to have that kind of intimacy with their creator. And in the same way, it's easier for us to hear someone talk about God than for us to go into his word and hear it from him. If you have placed your faith in Jesus, you are adopted into the family and you have been given access to your creator that we can remain in him and he will remain in us. We have access, but we don't always access. Let me highlight that with a a little image uh, for you. I want you to imagine that you go to your friend's house. You haven't seen your friend uh, in about a month. So you go to the house, you knock on the door, you hear some groaning behind the door. A couple minutes go by and finally the door is open and that's when you see him. Your friend is there in front of you, but he doesn't look like your friend anymore. He's got, uh, his eyes are sunken into his face. He's skin and bone. He looks incredibly ill. He walks over and collapses on the couch and you kind of just do away with pleasantries at that point. You're just like, Hey buddy, what's going on? Like, this is not what you looked like a month ago. Like, why are you so unwell? And your buddy says, man, I just got to tell you, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in a month. And so you, being the friend that you are, you rush over to the fridge, you you fling open the fridge door, and you look inside, and that's when you see it. All the, the meats and the cheeses and the drinks and everything you could ever want to fill up a fully stocked fridge. And so you turn, you're aghast, you turn to your friend and you say, hey, buddy, what's the deal? Like, why haven't you eaten in a month? Your fridge is full. And your friend responds, yeah, it's full, but there hasn't been anyone here to feed me. What would you say? You say, hey, hold on. The fridge is full. You, you have to feed yourself. You've got access to building a deep, intimate relationship with God. You've got access to the word and the chance to sit down and hear it from, from his mouth, what he has to say about who he is. Uh, and that can be intimidating. Most of us, we see this idea of, of diving into the word as a really big roadblock because we don't know how to engage in it and we don't know what to do. And I would just challenge you, read it like you would a love letter. I know for me, when my wife and I first started uh, dating, we were emailing at first and and she sent me an email and it would go something like, Dear Josh, and I would just hang on to every word. Dear Josh, what does she mean by that? Does she mean like, dear, like we're close? Does she mean like, dear, like, I don't know, dearly beloved? Like, what does she mean? And I'd hang on to every word and try to understand what she meant. And in the same way, you have the opportunity to dive into God's word, to grow in your knowing and understanding of him as you grow as a disciple. See, a disciple is someone who follows Jesus. And the way that we get to do that is by building an intimate relationship with him. You've been listening to Pastor Josh Poteet of West Hartford. And this has been Bread of Life a program to encourage you from God's Word.